What is up guys and welcome back to another squad builder as you guys know I don't usually do squad builders but you can expect one out of the blue from me every time I try a new squad now I, I told you guys on Facebook that I have tried a new squad and tried to make you guys guess but actually no one got it right now um, before I begin the squad builder I want you guys to know if you're looking to buy some coins check fee for coin traders their link will be in the description as usual and I tried this squad builder and it was insane. I mean, I tried the squad and it didn't get handicapped. And I'm pretty sure handicap is in this game. Um, trust me, you have to believe it. Once you get a really high rated team, there's definitely handicap in this game. But let's forget about that. That maybe it might make a video about it. But let's talk about this Colombian squad builder. I'm going to begin um, by apologizing in advance to anyone that is Col Colombian and is watching my videos I don't intentionally try to get their names wrong I just don't know how to pronounce them sometimes so we got I think Pereira now this guy is awesome look at those stats he has 82 pace and as you guys know FIFA is all about pace and he has some decent defending stats so with a 3-5-2 formation you can stop wingers with this sort of pace at, for a centre back and then moving on we have another centre back that is pretty fast as you guys can see both our centre backs are fast but what I choose to do is put Cortez in the middle because you will know why in just a second but this guy is awesome as well and then we have our last centre back who is Olave and he is pretty damn good as well. Three fast centre backs, decent pace on all of them. Obviously, uh, the gold centre back is much faster than your normal centre back, your average pace centre back. He is uh, uh, Cortez, 78 pace is pretty damn high. Now, the reason I have Cortez in the middle because I have found the best goalkeeper in this game. Seriously, I cannot find um, a better goalkeeper in this game than this guy that I am about to show you. So, he is Mexican and he isn't a gold surprisingly he isn't a gold let's um, let me just sorry about this because he's Mexican obviously this is a Colombian squad builder but there is no fucking Colombian goalkeepers in this game that are even decent so you're gonna have to um, sacrifice it with this guy I think you pronounce his name as Solcido he is an absolute beast in goal I haven't tried a better goalkeeper even Info Marchetti isn't as good as this guy um, Moving on to our CDM, obviously the CDM isn't going to be, uh, um, sorry, Mexican. So we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you who he, who he is. Uh, you've seen him in a couple of my squad builders and he's obviously isn't a silver as well. Well, actually we could start talking about Sanchez because he is left footed CDM. So there we go, left footed and you need that sort of uh, CDM just in case he gets the ball so you can get long shots with this guy because he has some pretty nice defensive stats and he has really good shooting uh, forget his 56 shooting on the card because this guy has some pretty damn good shooting 2k so let me just go back and show you guys um, how much each one costs the CDM Sanchez costs 2k my um, gold defender cost 1.1k look at that for that sort of stats you would expect them to go for even more than that then we have our Cortez of a center back 1.5k non-rare silver this guy is the most expensive silver in this um, sorry the most expensive defender uh, who goes around uh, 16k I probably overpaid but I just couldn't be bothered waiting now um, moving on to our gold CDM from Colombia and that is Freddy Guarin most of you might say that he has a high attacking work rate and a medium defensive, but I really like him. He has some beastly stats. You need someone to take your free kicks, and this guy has some overpowered free kicks that dip like no tomorrow. Really, really good player. Moving on to our left midfielder, who has really good defensive stats and really high pace, which is exactly what you need for a left midfielder, Zunega. He is awesome, seriously awesome, and he is right-footed, which is exactly what you need in that sort of um, area when you're trying to shoot long shots or anything like that. Obviously, his shooting isn't that great, and he does get tied pretty quickly, but he just only costs 1.5k. Uh, Guaren cost me... 48k this is when he first came out during the week I always buy my Serie A players as soon as they come out um, on a Sunday or a Saturday the best time to buy your informed players is on a weekend anyway moving on um, to, our, to our RM he is um, I think you I think you pronounce it as Quadrado I'm not sure but 
He has 90 pace and look at those defensive stats, 65, obviously not good as as good as Zunega and he isn't left footed, he is actually right footed so it depends if you like your RM to have left foot or right foot that he prefers but he actually does have 4 star skill moves which is pretty cool and he has really decent dribbling and he only goes for 800 coins so again not very expensive this whole team that i'm showing you is not expensive at all if you take out the uniforms oh yeah and i forgot to show you the goalkeeper's price let me show you it it's 37k for this guy he is an absolute beast trust me guys try him out because he's really really good anyway moving on to our cam one of the more expensive players in this team and it is rodriguez he is one of the best center attacking midfielders i have tried i actually think he is better than Guarin in that position. Um, he has 81 pace, 82 shooting, this guy's long shots are insane and what makes him even better for me is he's left footed and that is insane. I would, I love my sense attacking midfielders to have a left foot, uh, to, well to prefer their left foot over right foot because you, you don't, they're, they're too rare, you know what I mean? In that position there's not many cams that are left footed. But moving on to our strikers, as you guys already could see, there is a couple of Colombians I have in this team. You could try and uh, try out Armero instead of Zenega, but I actually like Zenega more than him. Uh, I don't know why, but defensively I thought Zenega is much better because Armero has a high attacking work rate, so I don't really like that. Um, you could also replace uh, Rodriguez with Ibarbo. Not as good as Rodriguez of course, but that's a cheap alternative for this team if you don't have enough money. And uh, let me just show you how much Rodriguez goes for. He goes for 89k, so not that expensive to be honest with you guys. Then you have Martinez as a striker. I have already talked about him in my previous videos, so I'm just going to leave him out. And so have I talked about Muriel, so I'm going to leave him out as well. But these are sort of alternatives that you can pick over what I'm going to show you. So first up, for our first striker, we have upgraded Falcao. I haven't tried Falcao at all until this Colombian team and he is overpowered as fuck to be honest with you guys. His header, I mean his heading is insane like it sticks onto his head and it's and when he when he heads it it's just I don't know how to explain it to you guys it seems so fake but it's so overpowered that he has to be in this team and he's shooting 85 more like 95 or something. He's so good at long shots as well, but this guy is an absolute beast and he is a silver player and it is Quintero. Now this guy has, look at this, look at his card stats are so fucking fake because he has 85 pace. This guy seems like he has 99 pace. I'm being honest with you guys, he seems like he has 99 pace. His shooting is much better than 70. His defending, look at that, it says 38, but this guy seems so damn strong for such a small player. Uh, let's see how big he is. He's only 5'5", five five, but this guy was like triple the time, um, not triple the time, <laughs> triple the strength of Giovinco, and he's around the same size. I don't know what it is about him, but he's so damn fast fast and five star skill moves just insane player one of my favorite strikers that I have tried this year that is how good this guy is and I would pick him over Falcao to be honest with you guys he doesn't go for much like I showed you 16k as well so I I pretty much overpaid for a lot of this team except Freddy Guarin because I already had him but other than that this team is just so beastly let me know you guys if you try the Colombian team or any of these players and let me know your opinions on them and I'm gonna show you some gameplay hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like I would really appreciate it and as usual guys I really hope you have a very nice day